Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss about the vertebrate lungs. The terrestrial vertebrates use a pair of lungs to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide with the environment. Lungs are found in most amphibians except few ones. They are found in all reptiles, all birds and all mammals. We shall discuss about the basic plan of vertebrate lung. Although there are considerable variations among the four groups of vertebrates, the generalized structure of lung consists of a complex network of tubes or and air spaces or sacs. The number of air spaces per unit volume becomes progressively greater in the evolutionary order amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. Yani ke jo number of air spaces hai per unit volume wo amphibians mein sabse kam hai, reptiles mein zyada hai aur mammals mein sabse zyada units pai jati hai jahan se gas exchange hona hota hai. Iske mukable mein the size of these terminal air spaces becomes smaller in the same order. In the amphibians, mein air spaces jo mojud hai, unka size zyada bada hai, jabke mammals ki jo air spaces ya alveoli hai, unka size sabse chota hai. These terminal air spaces or alveoli make the respiratory epithelium of the lung that is thin and vascularized. So, ye jo air spaces hai terminal, ye respiratory epithelium banati hai, jo ke actually respiration ka ya gas exchange ka function ka. Dear students, we shall discuss the lungs of all these four classes of vertebrates uh, one by one. Uh, we are going to discuss amphibian lungs first. Amphibia ke paas jo lungs hai, they vary in complexity. Mukhtif jo groups hai amphibians ke, un mein lungs ki complexity vary karti hai. Eurodeals ke jo lungs hai, salamanders vera ke, they are just like a smooth walled pouch. Ye bilkul ek thali si hai, jiski smooth si wall hai, aur andar se bag like hai, aur khali hai. Sirf wall ke upar hi air sacs mojood hai, jin se gas exchange hoti hai. Iske mkabale mein jo frogs or toads hai, unke lungs balloon like hai, aur in lungs mein septa or folds mojood hai, jo ke in lungs ko subdivide karti hai, और इंटरकनेक्टेड एयर सैक्स बनती हैं जिनके थ्रू गैस एक्सचेंज कंपैरेटिवली एक बैग लाइक स्मूथ वॉल्ड पाउच की निस्बत ज्यादा बेहतर गैस एक्सचेंज होता है डियर स्टूडेंट द लंग्स ऑफ रेप्टाइल आर स्पंज लाइक दे हैव स्पंज लाइक टेक्सचर अगर हम किसी भी रेप्टाइल के लंग को निकाल लें और उसे टच करें तो हमें ऐसे महसूस होगा जैसे हमने कोई फॉर्म या स्पंज पकड़ा है each reptilian lung has a single bronchus which runs down the center of the lung. Aam taur ke upar, bronchai jo hai, wo lung mein, mammals mein, enter hone ke baad divide ho jati hai. Lekin in mein single bronchus hai, jo ke kam as kam lungs ke center tak, middle tak zhuroor aati hai, ya is se bhi aage chali jati hai. Har bronchus jo hai, wo branches banati hai, और इन ब्रांचेस से आगे इंडिविजुअल पॉकेट्स मौजूद होती हैं जो के लंग्स की पेरिफ्री तक जाती हैं ये जो पॉकेट्स हैं इन में गैस एक्सचेंज होता है दीज आर दी सरफेसेस वेयर गैस एक्सचेंज अकर्स दीज पॉकेट्स आर सिमिलर टू द एल्वियोलाई इन मैमल्स हाउएवर दीज पॉकेट्स ऑफ रेप्टाइल्स आर मच लार्जर एंड फ्यूअर इन नंबर as compared to those of mammals. Structurally similar hai, lekin uh, bohat sari variations rakhti hai than the mammals. 
Now we shall discuss the mammalian lungs. Mammalian lungs are more subdivided to increase the respiratory surface area. Mammals ke lungs mein trachea subdivide karta hai aur bronchi banata hai. Ye jo bronchi hai, they repeat, uh, they branch repeatedly to terminal bronchioles and these terminal bronchioles divide to finally form the respiratory bronchioles. Har respiratory bronchiole jo hai, ye alveolar ducts ke a cluster ke saath attach hai, jis ke saath ke alveolar sacs mojood hoti hai, jo ke respiratory epithelium banati hai, aur jahan se gas exchange hota hai. Dear students, the lungs of birds are relatively smaller in size and they are connected to seven or nine air sacs which extend much of the body. Lungs size mein chote hain lekin unke saath bohut sari yani seven ya nine depending on the species of birds ye air sacs attach hoti hain jo ke body ke various parts mein aur even bones ke andar tak uh, extend karti hain. Air sacs may be connected to air spaces within the bones. The birds' ke lungs are their pattern is a little bit different. They have no alveoli, hai, but they contain millions of parabronchi. These parabronchi are tiny parallel passages, tube like passages. Hai. These are the sites of gas exchange in birds. ये जो सिस्टम है बर्ड्स में इट एनेबल्स देम टू रिमूव 90% ऑफ ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम द एयर विद ईच ब्रीथ के मुकाबले में जो मैमल्स हैं जिनकी बहुत एफिशिएंसी है गैस एक्सचेंज की दे कैन रिमूव ओनली 25% ऑफ ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम द एयर वंस ब्रीथ्ड 